All right, let's go to John Elliott once again. He is in Port Washington in Nassau County. John, have you figured out a way to convince Vince to come on the other side of the camera? Because I, for one, would pay money to see that. We would both. Yeah. We would both. Uh, yeah, I got to tell you, and you know it's so funny, Dick, you mentioned something. That line about uh, out, outdoor dining has been canceled. That made Vince laugh out loud this morning when he heard. But let's have another team member on camera. Come on in, our surprise guest, Vanessa. Hello. So Vanessa's going to be taking over coverage for CBS, uh, CBS News New York. York Correct. Coming up. But first off, you, Carlos, and John just drove out. How's the LIE? All right, so we heard about the two tractor yeah, trailers. Yeah. Uh, the LIE is not pretty. It is not clear. We saw multiple accidents on the way out. So be advised that even our most main thoroughfares are just a I mess know, right I now. Know. And it keeps coming down. It's not done yet. And, and Carlos, who's driving a big, big unit, yeah, it's right over there. He was saying that what's happening is the plows are trying to keep up, but what happens is it's ice is up. So you have ice on top of snow. I mean, it's really, really challenging. So, Vanessa, I want you to stay with me as we go through some common sense tips. We're talking about cold and snow common sense tip first off i'm a big you got to stay hydrated people get dehydrated when they are out there but pacing yourself is so important how are you supposed to move the snow all right well obviously you take your time don't be in a rush it's not done yet john right and even with the snow blower take your time i saw some guy seemingly out of breath trying to push the snow blower yeah. through you know already a foot of snow and so you, you know really what have I'm to seeing? take the time pace yourself and what i'm seeing with these snow blowers is that you, as you get down low you get this really ugly filthy yes. dense snow the machine's struggling and then you're pushing more weight yeah and then it becomes more problematic for you so we know a lot of people yeah back yeah back problems so we want just everybody to be mindful that you know despite the fluffy appearance at the surface no. as you get down below and it was so interesting. Really, like, you, dig in. you were hearing the governor talk about her back pain. Yeah, with, no, big problem. Yeah. So, and also charge your devices if you're watching CBS News New York on your phone. Oh my gosh, my battery's at 32%. And then finally, and you can comment on this too. I'm very, I know I'm a nag about cleaning the sensors. You, wow! <laughs> you have a camera in the back of your car, likely now, and you have sensors up front, and they ice up and gunk up. All right, so you need those, obviously. Yes. But, I mean, I have not fancy cars, John. So there's no sensors, right? It's called a bumper, <laughs> and I have a tailpipe, <laughs> and that's about it. But, yes, if you are accustomed to using all of those high-tech gadgets, the, the clear ice, them off. Yeah. yeah, especially the ones that are on the, the mirrors. Yeah. Oh, right? yes, in the mirror. Yeah. Oh, and that, that uh, blind spot yes, indicator. Detector. How yes. about this wind, Vanessa? You loving it? Uh, well, you know, John, I do happen to love the wind, but just let's talk a little more about the wind because obviously that's a major player. Winds have gusted over 60 miles per hour on portions of Long Island today. You've been standing out at yeah. it all morning long. So talk to me about how your cheeks are feeling right now. Horrible, horrible. And those hand warmers, they give out. I mean, it's just brutal. Where are you guys going? What's the plan? Okay, so I've been checking the biggest numbers and actually the biggest total in so far to the National Weather Service is in central Nassau County in Plain Edge, just over a foot. But but because we're looking to see some caps on the water, we're also going to probably just head to Oyster Bay for our next stop on the line and see what we can see there and talk to some people there. Which I love Oyster Bay. And here's something, honestly, since we're just chatting, I feel like flooding doesn't get the due. But, you know, tides are working against us yeah. and this wind. Yeah, and also, you know, what's happening now is we're going to have yes. persistent yes. push of north that winds even up. after the storm moves past us, right? Yeah. So certainly the next high tide cycle will be very problematic, especially for people on the North Shore. It's not going to be necessarily epic, but problematic along those coastal roads. So it's something we have to continue to watch. Of course, beyond the chill yeah. is the, the concern yeah. along the coastline. Well, thank you. And, you know, yeah, everybody course, wants to see Vince. <laughs> a little fun fact, oh. um, uh, Vanessa actually borrowed those earmuffs from Vince. Yes. So that's a little bit of Vince. Hey. Well, let, do you want me to tell people about my attire? I'm not in my official CBS News New York gear yet. I just got here. John said, hey, come talk to me. There hasn't been time to change. So I'll look a little different later when you see me again. Well, all the best. Thank you. And all the yeah, best. You guys have too. a great time. Yeah. I'll see you later on TV. Yeah. I'll see you I'll tomorrow see, morning. Yeah. Yeah. Back at it. Somewhere. All right, my dear. Thanks, Vanessa. Bye. I love that, you know, I mean, it's just the team is just like, we just pick up and, and we talk and we care and we're interested in this stuff. Hold on, hold on. If you guys, hurry up. Come on over here. This is, come on. This, just be very careful. Oh my God. Is this a St. Bernard? This is the Bernice Mountain Dog. 
This is a Bernice. So what's his name? Happy. What's his name? Oliver. Oliver. Well, hi, Oliver. <laughs> Oliver, I love the musical. Oliver, you stay out of the street. Come on, Oliver. Come on. Come on. Come on, Oliver. I love you. I love you. Wow. You. What's your name? Happy. My name's Kelly. How so are you? So the big dogs love snow. Oh, my gosh. He's so happy. He came right off the porch this morning, laid down on his back, put his feet right up in the air, and rolled around. He loves the snow. He's so happy. I'm going to go out on a limb and guess you did not do the same thing. I did thing. not do that. I went back to bed. <laughs> well, God bless you. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Okay. Thanks. Well, thanks well that was fun. That's what CBS News New York is all about. <laughs> that was so, a beautiful um, uh, dog. I, didn't, I wasn't sure if he was going to tackle you or if we were going to tackle him or no. what was going to happen there. But no. It looked hard no. right there. No, it's all love. You and I know. Oliver. That's the magic of Port Washington established in 1644. Ah, interesting. All right, John, stick with us because we have a very special viewer, also yes. named Oliver, yeah. who is a huge fan of yours. We're mm -hmm. going to show the video. Check it out. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. But look at this. Lindsay Dara share, shared this photo of her cat Oliver watching John Elliott talk about the snow this morning. I mean, waiting with bated breath to hear what John Elliott is going to say. Why is he dancing with the dog? You say? <laughs> Why is he, is he dancing with that? There, there you go, son. Elliot. You've what got you a think, loyal, John? loyal viewer. Loyal cat fan. What do you think about so that? So what John? you're saying is, it's snowing cats and dogs. There it is. That is oh, great. Ka -ching, you had to go there. Ka -ching. Very good. Uh, All right, John. Thanks, on you guys. that note. <laughs>